All right, I did a thing. I haven't done this in years. I bought a subwoofer. I brought the Primus 1200. The pictures look fucking fantastic. It actually, it does look really nice. So, of course, it's all just fake, but it still looks good. I already took the badge off. The little infinity badge. So it's not, it was glued with little two little tabs poked in there. Uh, what I'm going to do is replace it with a, a circular badge, and then if if I it depends on the, the the whoever's making the badge for me. Probably plastic like this one, and you can do engraving on it. So we can do JL audio, we can do Gonzo, we can do whatever the fuck we want. So it's got a nice rubber surround. Uh, I haven't tested it yet, um, and then for the back, it's just a Looks like just a paper sticker, which you can take off with some naphtha. Uh, naphtha is um, a cigarette lighter fluid. So it's also known as uh, Goo Be Gone or Goof Off or whatever. Um, and they sell it in a little bottle for like five or ten bucks. That's only ten bucks for the big quartz. So save some money doing that. But um, yeah, you just put it on, kind of soak it in, and then you can peel the sticker off. Then you can put your own sticker on. This is a great woofer for resale. Um, I, uh, I put in for some Danish looking, you know, like Morel type of, well, Morel is, uh, Israeli, but, um, like Dynaudio looking components from Recoil so that I can import those for you guys. They're not, they weren't even on Larry's radar. And so I was like, dude, these are going to be rad. And he's like, well, order a couple of cases in the next shipment. I was like, okay. So I ordered a couple of cases and then I'm going to do the same thing. What I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to debadge them. And then basically show you how to just remarket them. So, but this thing is only eighty dollars. Um, they do make another version with a darker cone um, that you buy in the box for a hundred shipped. Uh, is, yeah, already, I can see this is going to be a problem with the fingerprints. But um, so, anyways, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and break this in and then test it, uh, get the TSPs on it to see how uh, close it is. But I'm thinking just for home audio, single forum. This would be great as a um, just a high markup item, something you could sell for about $200. Uh, because if this was JL, it would easily be $200, be equal to like a W3. So, and it's probably just a two inch coil, very small magnet. It's not, it's not as big as I thought it was at all. The pictures, of course, make it look bigger. In fact, I'm looking in the camera and the camera makes it look bigger than it actually is. So let me, let me pull out my dick. So, there we go. King size. <laughs> There you go, that's for your mom. Uh, let me show you, no, here, I'll show you with a roll of tape. See, it's not much bigger than a roll of tape. So, that's to show you. It's actually quite small, so my hand is quite large. So, but, you know, they rated it 300 watts RMS. I don't know where they get that 1200 watt peak. So, but remember, Harman, Harman got bought by Samsung. So, and one of the reasons why Beats got bought by Apple was not, not because of their technology. What do you think Dr. Dre's got all the secrets of fucking audio? Jesus, no. It's it's to buy up competition. It's cheaper to buy them than it is to compete with them. That's the same thing that Facebook did with Instagram. And uh, what's that other company they bought? That it gave them Messenger. What's, what's funny is we had Yahoo Messenger in 1996 and it worked fucking great. It did everything that this does. It just wasn't pretty, as pretty looking. But I don't know. If you want to pay a billion dollars for WhatsApp, that's what it is, WhatsApp. I want to pay a billion dollars for WhatsApp. It's to it's to keep them from competing. That's what that's what it is. And then you have them sign all kinds of agreements so that they can't go off and do the same thing over again. So because the hard part is figuring out the software and how it interacts with people and then how to scale it. But anyways, oh, I got this for my raid. I'm gonna try to. I got a bunch of uh, three terabyte drives. I'm gonna do, do them all in uh, Stripe raid. So that's three, six, nine, twelve. So uh, should be about ten or eleven terabytes uh, for all that horse porn I got. You know, some people judge me about that uh, porn, but you know, it's, um, stop, I'm, a t I'm tired of being ashamed. I'm tired of being ashamed about being a man. I want to stick my dick in just about anything. And uh, these sperms got to find a home and they don't really care where, okay? So I'm tired of, especially ugly women, shaming me about my body and about my wants and my needs. I want to free my sperms, right? You guys want to free the nipple? I want to free my sperms. So, oh, I've been looking for that. Oh. So I used to make the whole thing. Anyway, squirrel. But, uh, oh, I wanted to show you uh, this audio pipe. So um, this was kind of a turd. But I'm trying, you know, me, I try to turn turds into treasure. 
So um, this used the, um, this is the three inch version, which is the TXX BD215. So, and the problem is, is that it's got five spokes, so there's, it, it's not equal. So I, I staged it so that they would be close to the, the spoke, and then I could just put the terminal on the outside. And then if you look down, it's gonna clear the box opening, so it's fine. So, and then the, 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 the wire's gonna come coming from the side. So, and uh, because this is the quad coil, but I've taken off four layers, um, I've been able to double up the leads on the spider. So, and it's just a soft spider. You want to nice, hit a nice FS, probably right around 30 hertz. And then I'll put a, you know, Tits McGee cone on here so it, it sells really nice. It's only like a good 1,000 watt uh, sub, but uh, it'll bring in probably 200 bucks. So, which is probably more than what they go for originally. But, you know, sometimes you make it on uh, cosmetics. Sorry, habit. Um, cosmetics are what make it sometimes. So like this little guy, I just posted on Instagram for 320 shipped, um, 265 local. It's got the new carbon fiber dust cap, 180 millimeter, and uh, the mega roll cone. Those are the specs. Again, typical for 15. Put it in anywhere from uh, 2.75 up to about four and a half cubes, and uh, you'll do great. Uh, remember, in order to hit the FS, this is what you need. Right, so it doesn't matter if it's sealed or ported, that's what you need in order to get hit that. So uh, three cubic foot, three and a half cubic foot uh, net after the vent and everything, fucking great. So you'll hit 30 Hertz. I think that was, oh, I got the Type-X in. Um, this one is gonna use this uh, JL Audio coil. It's a little long, but, um, and it'll be limited by the spider. Um, but it, I had this extra, uh, this is just a cap that they pull. This thing is like, such a piece of shit, especially for how much it costs. I'm really disappointed in Alpine, but you know, whatever. They're just a, a greedy multinational corporation, a bunch of douchebags. But, uh, and it's basically it's just a thousand watt woofer. It's basically the same motor as that audio pipe. Uh, maybe I think a little taller. I think some of them had a triple stack. Um, it's got this stupid copper sleeve in it uh, for cooling, but sometimes, especially here in Arizona, it'll build up a static charge and you have to ground that in order to keep that from happening. Um, so that's just a word to the wise. And the way that we would ground it is uh, we come in the back and you can either solder to that little tab right there. Uh, if you can get a bolt in it, that's even better up here, bolt it in here and then run the wire out the back. So, but that's one of the Achilles heel of these type X. Otherwise, they, it's basically the type R frame. It uses the eight inch spider and then uh, it's a little high up so, but this will sit about there, which is about right. And then uh, it'll grab onto that. This one is a dual one ohm, uh, cause he wants it to match a dual four that he has. So we want a final one ohm load, even though they're gonna look different with the uh, SPL surround on this one. So um, I told him just to sell that one. It's a dual four, so um, he should be able to match it up with like a Kenwood or an Alpine amp, which is two ohm stable. So uh, reminder, we have the zero gauge kits, the zero gauge wire kits, um, hundred bucks each shipped. Uh, and I customize them here for you. That's $25 less than Amazon than what Larry has them posted for. And I said, I'm gonna undercut you. And he goes, good luck. Guess what? I haven't sold any, zero, zero. I think everybody's saving up their money for their dumb kids. Well, I just bought my kids candy in a, in a stripper costume. Don't buy your kids a stripper fucking costume. Jesus Christ. What else did I get in? Oh. Got this diamond D6. Uh, this is the four, four channel. I forget what it's called, 700.4. So tested, works great. Uh, we'll do 200 shipped on that one. Uh, great amps, I love those dual amps, but that one's dead. So, and then I think I got some on the test bench. I sold the Orion HCCA 250 today to a collector. He's really got a problem, but I gotta pay rent, so I can't really judge people. So, but, uh, oh yeah, this is the uh, home theater one, dual six ohm, finished. Well, I gotta put a gasket on, I gotta clean up some gaskets, so. Uh, great for home theater or car audio, sealed box. Yes, that is an eight cubic foot uh, VAS, but again, what you need is eight cubic foot in order to reach 26 hertz. So if you don't need to hit 26 hertz, you can go in a smaller box. See how that works? See how that works? 
Got this one available. There's the specs on that. Just a basic 15. Uh, dual two on this one. This one's dual six ohm. What else? Oh, I'm getting ready to do a bunch of these. Um, this is uh, one of the Majestics that we, all I did was put a cap on it. So this is how the Kona comes, but I, I now have about 30 of these that I can pump out just in time for the holidays and sell them for like 100, 120 bucks. Uh, just clear them out. And they're, they're good for about five, 600 watts. They use a two and, uh, two and five eighths coil. And I have a whole bunch of dual twos that I'm gonna configure wire them in series. So then I can double up the leads. So that way they'll be single four ohm. And then I got a bunch of amps that I got to pair up with them. And then we'll just put them in a, the prefab box and flip them out. But, you know, that's a lot of work for a hundred bucks when I can just buy this one for 80 shipped. And like I said, check it out. That's the Primus. I'll put a link on the, in the description. Um, the one that comes with the enclosure is probably a little undersized enclosure, but again, a little uh, equalization. It should be able to over overcome it and produce something pretty good of course you can always remove it from the box put a plate on it use it for a 10 or an 8 and then uh, put this in another box and uh, like i said the one that comes with the box is like a dark color i don't know if it has this uh looks like kevlar uh finish it might be a different finish again it's just a cone it doesn't affect the uh, performance or anything like that so uh but back to work i got a pack um that uh jl audio anniversary edition uh, 10 that you guys passed up on. So I didn't know how rare it was. Um, apparently it was the first year that they came out with them and it was before they decided to, to paint them black or they were, where'd it go? <gasps> there it is. It's this one. So anniversary edition, that's the one I did the woofer porn on and uh, David um, bought it and hopefully he'll flip it for about 800 bucks. So good for him. This was a sample I got. I found out this a kicker actually makes a version of this. So kicker, shallow sample. This one is a single two ohm. Um, this one I think is for sale for, we'll do a hundred bucks shipped on that one. If you guys need a shallow 10. So, and the specs on it are pretty good. It only moves about that much before it starts leaving the gap, but you know, they didn't really give themselves much room to work with. So. That's it. Just a quick update. I love you guys. Sell, sell, sell. Um, oh, rock lights. I forgot to mention rock lights. LED rock lights. Um, I'm going to try to sell these to you guys. Um, these are supposed to be the Tits McGee, but I don't know lights. So right now I'm, I'm coordinating with Jerry over at, um, what is it, Savage Stance uh, Media uh, for him to hook one up to one of his cars so that we can demo it. We have it in the, the four, uh, four brick version. These are just LED programmable LEDs, uh, Bluetooth uh, sync on your phone. Uh, and then this is the eight pack. And then the eight pack goes for 129 shipped. And the four pack goes for, I think, I wanna say 90 shipped. So um, both really good deals relative out there. I, I checked on Amazon and I saw some kits for like $30 and I'm like, okay, those are probably not very good, but um, these got returned because they were not selling fast enough. And again, I think it was because, you know, it's, it's not just Larry, but lots of, um, people that have connections to China see a trend because they have access to that information on Amazon. And then they try to, you know, copy it or make it, take advantage of it. Right. Like the hula hoop thing. So, uh, there was some company that was selling them for $45 each. And they were making a ton of cash and they're like, oh, I want a ton of cash. And so then they jump onto that. So personally, I'm not a fan of that, but again, I'm not rich. So what do I know? Um, I'm selling other people's garbage, other people's returns. <laughs> uh, so, but uh, I got lots of accessories. If you guys need anything, uh, sometimes I include them for free, just as samples in some of your orders. Um, we still have the DSP four channel amps. Uh, with the harnesses, we still got um, a bunch of the recoil. Those are the 10 inch subs. Those actually sound pretty good. I was really surprised at those. Um, uh, the eight inch subs as well. Again, if you just want a little base, not a lot of space. I think this one is a hundred shipped and then this one's 80 shipped. So, uh, which we've been doing and they come with the base knob and a wire harness or, you know, a wire kit. So I think that's it. I love you guys. I will talk to you later.